If you let look with Koro Koro, you hear me why why now me say you turn that giddy bar on top of the chairman television station who has Obia Max TV. And as we do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7.30, this na Coco of the matter. For Coco of the matter, now the Coco when they say the matter that is the most important thing. Now we carry come to discuss. Uh, best don't say I know the way my voice day. But I go sing this song so that when I do my introduction, everybody go understand. Uh, wait till they try uh, one teluna based on the cocoa when they said our matter. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my life. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Now, now people when they go thanksgiving, now they sing that song. If you check today's date, you go see, say, wait, oh, ah, we did May, yes. May the day very, very special inside of Bodo, Nigeria. But that date, when the day special, where, where? Now, May 29. Why? If we go back to 1999, now that day, our president, that time, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, after we don't get so many years of military rule, he be stand up, talk, say, he swear to defend the Nigerian people. Since that day, everybody they celebrate May 29 as the day when we say, and eh, they go come and talk, say, na democracy day. But the thing don't change now, because now the new democracy day, based on law, na June 12th. But May 29 day is significant because now that day people when we say we vote for election to represent us, now then they count one one year when then they inside office. And this May 29, now one year of the second term of President Muhammad Buhari. So it remains three years, if you check today's day, to three years and one day for President Muhammad Buhari to remain inside office. He get what everybody call scorecard. You go check what the person don't do. You check in record. You see whether the person go get A, whether he go get B, whether he go get C, whether he go get D, whether he go get E, or whether you go score the person F. Una wo una day house will be Nigerians. When they feel the impact of government, at the end, una go give una own score. But I carry person where Sabi where where. We go go chuck mouth inside to talk. When we look all the key areas, so that una go feel arrive at una own conclusion. At the talk of no other. Than a young Nigerian. Every time when I see this person, my belly is sweeping because I believe say, the future of Nigeria, the thing they secure. Honorable Father Usi Afolabi, he be serious, serious social commentator, political analyst, and leader of thought. This young person, when I introduced to Naso, now person will be say for 2019 election, he wear the jersey of in political party to contest election inside this Lagos. And not be just say uh, which party self. People's Democratic Party for inside Mushi. He won't enter inside the Lagos State House of Assembly. So, no be small visitor. Now, my carry come. Once again, Honorable Father Usi Afolabi, welcome to Coco of the Matter. Thank you very much. Uh, Good uh, morning. I greet you. Make we not waste time. We just go straight. Make we not waste time. We just go straight into our discussion because I know say plenty things there your body when we say you won't talk. Now, President Mamadou Wari, they celebrate one year of his second term for inside office. I go just ask you, uh, if we talk about celebrate, it means say we they happy. This one from the way when we say you they reason the matter, and it is where you they see. You think say we need to pop champagne, or this is not time for us to just think say hmm, this one year, hmm, hmm, hmm. Share a celebration when we go kill goats, kill chicken, make pepper soup, they pop champagne, or now time for sober reflection, because the one year, he be as he gets. Now you go answer him, Honorable Father Musia Folabi. Over to you. Um, I no go really say sober reflection, and I no go say celebration. Mm. Then I go say maybe make we go pray. Mm. Because um, the sober reflection now almost every year, and uh, we don't stay sober for too long. It'd be like, say, the next thing for us to pray for our government. Mm. Because things no look like, say, it did better. Mm. And it no be the same thing. So it's getting worse day by day. So uh, they go celebrate for their own end because then they enjoy the government. Person with the job for government, would they celebrate the government. Mm. But people for Nigerians, where they suffer now, no fee celebrate because now we depend the rich. Hmm. When rain they fall now, rain no touch a uh, bed where they the sky because bed don't go, don't go hide. Mm -hmm. Now cars where they the streets, now sand where they the floor, now in rain they touch up. Hmm. So now so the government be. Okay. Uh, Honorable Father, we see uh, this explanation where you don't give now, like you said, a mixed reaction. Uh, not be say you go pop champagne. Not be say you go talk, say make we think. 
but it depends on the way where people they reason them. And I like the way where you don't drop this one down because, like, we talk for cocoa of the matter. Now, Nigerian people now then go judge, and from all the things we go discuss, uh, people go arrive at uh, their conclusion. Maybe we start first with the economy because the economy now the foundation of anything when we say the country they stand on top. Uh, maybe we go back to 2015 when this government first enter and the promises when we said the government make about the Nigeria economy. Maybe we even come back to 2019 as the government they talk say okay we don't do some things and uh, we hope to build more on top of the one when we say we don't do. Maybe we check the economy of Nigeria, honorable. Uh, you think say the economy of Nigeria, uh, the thing it don't stand up from the sickness when. The people when the government today said the team be sick that time when they enter for 2015 and he don't they go for the path to recovery. I mean, you think said the economy it never changed or it don't even worse past the way when the day before. No, we'll talk about the economy. Um, I could like correct Nigerians on top one thing on politics. Every party we know they sit go promise waiting they feel do and waiting they know feel do. Mm. So I did very sure, say, even with the way our president, they address us as a country, I did very sure, say, all the promises where he give us, na person go write down for him. Hmm. And now waiting the right, he go read. Hmm. It be like, say, make person write for me now, say, I feel fly, without wings, without aeroplane. And they talk, say, make I read them out. I go read them. Nobody say, when I, when you give me the opportunity, I go fly. Mm. Now, just the opportunity I they look for. Mm. So, we don't reach that level for our country way. Make we forget the promises where they give us. They want me we vote. Mm. We politicians go tell you what you want here mm. so that you go vote for us. Mm. Then, after you vote for us, now you, we go to share the salary with. Mm. No, you go only vote. So, um, I always want us make we leave, say, President promise, say, 50,000 go there employed, 5, mini, five million go um, leave proper, pro, um, poverty, and all these things. They just they do them because they want we, when they poor, may we believe, say, they will take us out of poverty, mm. so we go vote for them. Mm. But not them, they move from wealth to wealth. Mm. Mm. Honorable Father, we see this one where you don't talk, it eh, don't really open the eyes of plenty of people when they watch. Because you talk, say, politicians get format. And that format now to tell us what they know, say, we want here. So that we go give them what they want. But if you like, say, now only them, they increase. That is, they add weight. Why we? We go, they reduce. Maybe we just settle this one once and for all. How Nigerians feel they participate actively for everything we're concerned, how we go take feel, make our economy better. Because the truth be said, not be everybody for the government. The reason why you they get, for example, one governor for the state, now say, 10 people not become governor, now only one person. But that person, if we go by the principle of social contract, suppose they work for the rest of the people when put them, and everybody when they inside that country, so, or the state, so, what thing the people go feel do to use the whole their elected representatives accountable so that this scope where you don't give us when politicians they use, they don't go continue to use them, they collect our stew with their bread. Make I tell you something with the important. Mm. Sometimes when I deal on air, I they always like to talk facts, not because say I be young politician or something, but say as a proper Nigerian. Mm. Um, I would like to talk say our economy. Those where they hold the pillar of our economy, no old them because of we Nigerians. Now, why you go see a person we go donate one billion naira for Nigeria to COVID-19 or coronavirus? And at the end of the day, it go increase the thing where in the use mm. of the economy. Mm. Then it go sack people where in the use boost the economy. Mm. Just because it won't make a name, they the list of people we mm. support Nigeria. Mm. So our economy is on a selfish base. Mm. Nobody is entering the economy. Nobody is coming in to do business in the country because they want Nigerians to benefit, mm. but because they want few selected people to benefit. Mm. So if they say, if I won't come start a company for a year now, and I say, this company, go they do road. The company go come say, if you do road, the road go high like this, the road go 
Now, because of the money we won't collect, now why you go see, say, check three years after, that road don't collapse. Mm. So, our economy needs to be focused on how we stabilize Nigerians, mm. not to fall astray. Mm. Not because, ah, uh, because you they do sugar now, and then we they benefit from your sugar. At least, person where they do cake, they benefit from your sugar. Person where they do this one, we get CBN bank. And at the end of the day, for my own country, I know if you transfer to another brother for my same country, you mm. will remove 65 Naira. Mm. When nobody say I transfer money, come out. So all these things, now things we we got thing together, say, our economy, it's a day to favor we, we no get. A be a day to favor those we won't get. Mm. Mm. Very, very important question when we say we they ask. And uh, now this answer, now we want, uh, and I, I definitely should say now the correct answer when we go make Nigerians their belly sweet, now in government go give us. I make we move forward. We talk about key areas when we go also discuss. Uh, we talk, say we go talk about construction. Uh, many people don't talk about infrastructure development for inside of Bodo, Nigeria. Those things when we say we need to make our life better, better road, oh, better school, oh, hospital, oh, and other important ones. Make we talk about construction over the last one year. The good thing be say, uh, if you want to build road, road not be red carpet. You know, go build and finish, come roll and come come out. Uh, people must see them. And you mentioned, say, some people, waiting then they find, nine then they, waiting then go chop, nine then they find. Now you go make them come, they go do one project. After three years, the projects don't scatter. Make we talk about some of the projects where we say, uh, this government don't do. And uh, in the last one year, and also in the last uh, uh, five years, if we join everything together, uh, what do you think of some of these projects? You think, say, uh, the projects, now projects where we say, in the position Nigeria for quick, quick development and growth, Abi, it still be the slow, slow one when we say the thing they work out. My brother, coronavirus don't come tell us, say, our health infrastructure mm. be poor. Mm. Now, no Nigerian, baby, no need tell us. Mm. Coronavirus alone don't tell us, say, if we no be, we, we no be use hospital, we they use stadium. So maybe you just imagine, say, if all this place as a day, as hospitals day different states, we don't get anywhere where we feel talk, say, our people, ah, this coronavirus enter Nigeria today now. Mm. Hospitals are poor. Now, now, I they always tell my friends, say, go check the roads where you see for this country, especially Lagos State, Nigeria. Mm. Mm -hmm. They talk, say, call you till 8 o'clock. Mm. Say, you will come off for work by 5 p.m. Where they hold up, where they traffic till 7. Mm. Now you go reach house by 8 o'clock. Mm. I they always tell person, you lock us down for Lagos for weeks. Mm. I they expect, say, make Nigerians come out. Me, they talk, say, ah, I don't know, say, government don't do this road during the time where we day house. Mm. The lockdown wasn't enough to uh, was enough to build some infrastructure that would challenge us as Nigerians. Mm. I, I, I should be in my house for five weeks and come outside and see a change. Mm. Make I come outside, see, say, ah, they don't renovate this hospital. This road will lead to this hospital. They don't do them so that um, ambulance go feel wrong pass properly. But we still come out and I still the same thing. In fact, projects where did they do before, they don't stop them because coronavirus will catch the contractors. Mm. Mm. So infrastructure has been poor. Our roads have been bad. Mm. And we Nigerians, we are special people. Mm -hmm. Even if there is no road, we will go and look for money. Honorable Father, I will say, I follow I go just like make you hold up there. We go go break, come back. When we go break, come back, and uh, we go move to security because that one too, they're very, very important inside of Nigeria. We go also discuss about the coronavirus pandemic. Go and talk about moving forward for this country. What do young people suppose they do so that the future of Nigeria go there secure? No going anywhere now. Still, go, go of the matter on top of the chairman television station, Wazobia Max TV. Would they call?
Welcome back to Cocoa of the Matter. This is Gucci Kuri Sine Inside Studio. And my own guest visitor, Honorable Father Unsi Afolabi, we will discuss the second term of President Mamadou Dubwari one year after. Because if you check your calculator, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> as an Igbo man, I'm money, money. If you check your calendar, you go see, say, May 29, don't already reach finish. And now one year uh, since President Mamadou Dubwari do that to Suez, say, he go work for Nigerian people for his second term for office. Before we go to the break, we discuss about the economy. We talk about infrastructure. And Honorable Father, we see, pay special attention to healthcare. In link come to coronavirus, contact say, he be like, say, we need to do a lot more so that we go beat our chair. Say, yes, yeah, so we take advantage of this particular period. Hopefully, moving forward, we go find solutions to this problem. But before we go to the break, we talk about security. Honorable, we talk about security inside of Nigeria. Hmm. Security is a very, very serious issue. Every day you open newspaper, you go here and say, our security people, them, they, they do plenty of work. Especially as it takes concern the fight against terrorism and banditry for inside this country. <laughs> terrorism, banditry, as I make I use that tone. Inside this country, they, they do everything when they do to see, say, they ensure say, Nigeria is secure. But it just be like, say, this problem, now unending problem. As a young Nigerian, when even contest for election, when get plenty sense, when I believe, say, the future of this country, oh, you go play your own part. How we go take we find permanent solution to the problem of insecurity inside this country? Honorable Father Onsia for Labi. Um, my brother, hmm. one big problem we will get for this country, na security. Hmm. Because the security agency know they get the norm. The same policeman will do, the same army will do for 2015. Now, still date you now. Mm. Now, just their guard and change you. But the problem we will get for our problem for our country, now say, even when we talk, say, stop and search, man will carry gun. They very confident, say, if he use cash, bail himself for that spot. Mm. One of the problems we will get for security, na drugs. Mm. And when person go carry drugs for pocket, security man go see him with the drugs for pocket. He go bring out money. Give the security man. The security man go allow him go. Hmm. Which time you know go take drugs? Forget saying nah, I mama born him. Go the kidnap person. Hmm. 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 So until we can stand as a country to reform our security, whereby as a security man, I know if you do anything. I know if you collect anything from you because one gadget did my body where they record everything where I did do. Mm. So if I see you where you carry ammunition now, you won't enter into a those things. And you give me one million naira, say make I take, make I close mouth. When something did my body where they, they see them for one center, where did they see everything where they do? They don't capture your face. How we go fit to say, ah, um, where that person will carry ammunition? Hmm. But even when our politicians, our big men, hmm. give young people guns, hmm. give young people drugs, hmm. they give them money to complement it. Say, when you see, you go, they go even tell them the places where they go see security. Hmm. They go even don't call the security down. Say, My boys, they pass on top of this so car. Hmm. So, the security in our country is to be caught. Hmm. Hmm. I always tell my friends, I look forward to a Nigeria where, with just one card, like PVC, I no need to do a card anyhow for road. Police no need to ask for my particular. He only need just put my card for inside one machine like POS, and he go tell me if my particular is the complete. Hmm. Hmm. To tell me if now that car is my car. Hmm. My driver's license to go inside that same card. Hmm. So, you know, possible, make I come from inside Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Make I come from 
still because I didn't get their card. Hmm. 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 Honorable Father, I'm saying, this is what you talk so, now. Say, we must use technology. Techn because you, technology. If we use technology, oh, uh, many of the problems when we say with the face, we go solve up. Uh, wisdom, wisdom, no go finish you. But maybe we go into another very, very important one. You talk about young people when we say some bad eggs amongst the political class go give weapon, give money, give information, give bad advice because they won't use these people for bad so that they go gain. And uh, these young people, if we check Nigeria population, now number when we say they're very, very high. We get plenty of young people inside this country. And if young people now, they be the people who are supposed to ginger, make country better. Why if we say we sit there where we day? I go like make you, you know, giving practical and simple solutions. Eh? Talk about the problems yeah, we they face for this country and what will be the solutions so that young people go think they do their own part to see say Nigeria go better. My brother, um, it gets something where I put down, especially for my plans in politics for the future. Mm. Now, NYSC especially, now something we bring almost everybody with finish school all over Nigeria together. Mm -hmm. Those where they look for employment. Mm -hmm. I do always tell my friends, say, when person like me become president, after your orientation camp, I no go advise, send me they go primary place of assignment, go they work mm. for one year. Mm. Why you go tell your mama say, I did work, I did work, and after one year, you go to carry CB up and down. Mm. So why can't we get to a level in Nigeria that you go to PPA for five months, mm -hmm. you go to learn a vocation for five months, mm. back to that orientation camp where you started from to exhibit what you have learned. Mm. In that case, if 10 persons go for NYSC, if 10 of them goes to learn education, four of them will be interested in that vocation. They will leave the labor market. Mm -hmm. Three of them ask their fathers who have companies to go and work in their father's company. Mm -hmm. Some of them will get a job. Mm -hmm. It will reduce the number of people who will be frustrated to go and do, to commit atrocities, atrocities outside. Mm -hmm. So why don't we put in vocation so that someone will get interested in sewing something like I'm wearing, someone will want to do a shoe and start to sell mm. so until we can reduce the, the fetching for the labor market with vocational training mm. and not reduce those Smoking in their M, carrying phones outside. Mm. I check those who are doing most of them went to school, mm. either polytechnic or uh, university. Most of them went to school. Mm. So, to solve this in our country, we will need to put in level of training, make them learn other things apart from going to look for jobs. And let's on our presidency especially our president, Muhammad Buhari. Mm. A man cannot do it. Mm. So most of us as Nigerians, we always class one year as president. China President Muhammad Buhari is the Minister of Education. Mm. 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 We get to a level whereby we don't fear appoint anybody as Minister of Education because the man be your friend. I won't appoint him as Minister of Education. If Minister of Education, they do well. If Minister of Finance, they do well. The President, we go to praise them. Mm. So, not be only about the President, now about the competence of the President. Mm. 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 Go and finish. Mm. So, even if Angel become our President, and he appoints them as Minister, you go to complain. That Angel will become them. Very true. Honorable Father Wunsi Afolabi, thank you very much for the wisdom when we say you don't share. And we know say this uh, 30 minutes, they're very, very small to look one whole year of the second term of President Mahmoud Buhari, but uh, we took eye on top of the areas when they're very, very important. The economy, construction, we look at uh, 
uh, infrastructure, we look at construction, we look at security. We also talk about the coronavirus pandemic and our health sector. And finally, what thing we need to do as young people inside Obodo, Nigeria, I won't appreciate to say you carry waka come. And all this wisdom when we say you don't share. Thank you very much. Our people, when they first they talk, say Nigeria and our country, you know, go spoil. Nigeria be like a jell-off. We must all contribute our own contribution to see, say, the jell-off of this country, the thing done. God bless us with people when get sense. Bless us with the resources what we need. As a people, if we dare united, Nigeria go better. And they always they tell you now, say, coronavirus, they real, oh, I beg you. Anytime when you dare outside, wear your face mask. No touch your eyes, no touch your nose, no touch your mouth. And do everything if you do to make sure, say, you stay alive. Until I come back again, as I come, Tuesday, Thursday from 7.30 p.m., don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come near Ah, wear my face mask. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.